now going to show you how to make this Jenny Gammy pram. You've probably seen lots of different versions of prams before, mainly 3D designs. The difference with this one is it will fold perfectly flat so that you can put it in an envelope or inside a card for posting or even in a pocket on a scrapbook page and then just by lifting it, it stands back up into its 3D form again. Now the first thing you need to do is print the template. Now you have three options on the CD. You have two different colour variations or you have a plain black and white version that you can cut out from a card of your choice. If you choose to print one of the colour variations, what we've given you is the front and the back of this. So what you can do is you cut all parts out and then you would stick the front and the back sections together so that your colour card is double sided. For this demonstration I'm just going to use this one here and what I'm going to do in the first place is simply take this one apart and then put it back together again. bottom bars that I'm taking off just now, we refer to them on all Jenny Gammy products as strengthening bars. They don't really add anything to the design but they help keep it sturdy once you've put it together. So in this particular design we have three of these strengthening bars. We have a hood for the pram, we have the handlebars for the pram, we have two sets of wheels, we have the two main parts of the pram and we have a plain part with a little baby inside that you can decorate as well as you want. Now, the first thing I would do is lay these out in order. So, the baby obviously goes inside the two sections of the pram and the wheels go at the back and at the front of the pram. And once I know the order that I need them all in, I can then start building them together. Take one of the strengthening bars, it doesn't matter which one you take, they're all exactly the same. And we're going to start threading this through the very middle section of the designs here. So this little part here, and we're going to thread it through all of them. Now this first part, the slot's at the top, the second part it's at the bottom. Then the next part it's at the top again, then it goes to the bottom again then it goes to the top again. So you're going to have to thread this over and under each part to hold them together. So the first one is straightforward enough, it just slots over there. And then I take a pram section and I slot it over. And then I take the baby section and I slot it under. And then I take another pram section and I slot it over. Trying to keep them all in a straight line so they don't come undone. And then I take the final wheel section and I'm going to slot that under. So I now have all the middle parts joined together with that strengthening bar, which you can stand up, but I'm holding it flat just now because it's easier to work with. You'll then see you have all the sections, end sections in a row there, and all the other end sections in a row there. We have to use the same with the other strengthening bars and go over and under the end sections. So again, it's easier to hold flat and to put that over, over that one, under that one, over that one, under that one. And again, I'll show you what that's like now. We now have two parts joined together and I'm going to fold it flat holding it together again and take the last strengthening bar and it's going to go under there, over there, under there, over there and under there. We now have the main parts of the pram put together. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to take the hood and you have two slots here and you have little slots on the sides of the prams here. We're just going to slot this simply inside there and then inside 
oops, the fingers and thumbs now, inside at the other side. And then your little handlebar section here, you'll see there's three slots, one at the top, one at the bottom, one at the top. So again, this is a simple over and under. And there you have your completed Janigami pram that stands up 3D, folds flat and simply stands back up again.